Okay. Right. Yes. We'll all squeeze in. We'll all squeeze in. Hi guys. Hi. 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 Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah, it's like yeah, 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 I mean, I think, you know, we, we, we wanted the finale to be the biggest, most dramatic uh, uh, episode of the season, and it is. And the other thing we wanted it to be is we wanted it to be about the relationships and the characters and the romances. So it's, it's, it's our biggest episode. Usually our episodes, uh, we shoot over eight days. The finale was so big and ambitious, we actually uh, shot it over ten days. Uh, we brought with our, back with the director of, of the pilot. Lee Tolan also did two and three. Yeah, and 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 yeah, we had one idea of what the, what the ending was going to be, and then kind of it just got bigger and bigger and exploded. And we 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 were guarding that. Those there are lots of secrets that come out in the finale. Um, I just had a question about Jughead's asexuality in the comics that I know is not currently being explored in the show, but asexuality can happen in the context of a romantic relationship. And I was wondering if you had given any thought to exploring that in the relationship with Betty. Yeah, yeah, you know, we've, we've had, we've definitely talked about, about it a lot. Uh, we believe Riverdale should be as inclusive and as diverse as the world is and it should represent everything. It's funny, I, we were just saying, I was, we were just saying that when we started work on the pilot and on the episodes, it was about a year before Chip came out with, with the Jughead comic book. And the first thing we decided about the show was that Jughead and Betty were gonna date because one was Archie's best male friend and one was Archie's best female friend. So we kind of like, that's how we built the season. And it did, and it predated the... And so, 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 but representation is important and it is really important for us to, to, to show every, every kind of person, every kind of sexuality. And we are working on that for season two. Thank you. You're welcome. Riverdale is a pretty refreshing from other shows of its genre. Can you talk about like what qualities set it apart from other shows? Well, I wouldn't want to be sort of dismissive of any other show. Everyone works so hard to do whatever, but I think what we strive to do in Riverdale um, is, I mean, first of all, we just kind of put our blinders on and just make our own little weird show that we love. Um, but uh, I think what we want to do is we want to tell stories about characters in multiple generations and multiple perspectives. And as a result, I think that there's a richness to the storytelling that, um, that might not be in every other show. Yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, all, all of the, you know, high school coming of age shows, they all kind of have an, a, 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 their own particular identity. Glee's a great example. It's a coming of age high school show that's a musical. Uh, ours is sort of a coming of age high school show that's sort of like a David Lynch Blue Velvet thing. And, and you know, it, but, but those shows like Freaks and Geeks, My So-Called Life, we love those shows. And, and, and we wouldn't we wouldn't uh, be here without them. But, but the funny thing is, it's it's all those shows. I feel like owed a debt to the old Archie comics, like in terms of the archetypes and things like that. So so it's we're part of a huge con continuum. I think. Did you guys feel uh, a weight? This is last question. Did you guys feel a weight of expectation, seeing as it's a comic book adaptation, but it's a different side of comics. It's not superheroes and supervillains. Yeah, I mean, our cute John, you can speak I mean, to the expectations of the Archie. I, I mean, I think the Archie fans always expect a lot because, you know, uh, they they love the characters and they've loved them for decades. So the bar was really high. And uh, I think these guys jumped right over the bar. I mean, the writers, the producers, the cast, everybody. I mean, everyone's done a phenomenal job. So I think I'm hoping with the very high expectations, we've exceeded them. And given, given people something they love. And I think in general with comic, with any kind of adaptation, the best adaptations are when the people that are doing the adaptation really, really love the material. And I cannot imagine anyone that loves Archie as much as Roberto and John. Um, 
And I think that's what shows. And those are the best adaptations. It's like when they're done by fans. I, I've, I've, I've done a lot of different things. I've never met a fandom like the Archie fandom. <laughs> they are, and, and, and they know everything. I mean, they remember panel, there are, they're literally over a billion pages of Archie story, and they, it, they know everything. Uh, uh, it's, but, but yeah, it's, 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 uh, but I'm one of them. So that's the nicest. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank, Thank you. you.